Good morning teachers and my dear friends, I am Arya Cha from grade 5B. Today, I am going to narrate a story written by Roald Dahl. Roald was a famous British writer. He enjoyed telling bedtime stories to his children. These bedtime stories were published and some were made into movies. One of his famous story is George's Marvelous Medicine. This story is about an 8 year old boy George. One day his mother, Nanny, was going out for shopping in the town while his father, Gilly, was out working on the farm. Joe's mother told him to remember to give Grandma her medicine at 11 o'clock. Then Joe was left with cranky, mean and selfish Grandma. Nothing George did for her was good enough, so he decided to make a new medicine for Grandma, which would change her and make her nicer. He began to look all around the house for all sorts of medicines, lotions, injured oil, paints, just about anything he could get his hand on to mix it up in a medicine. When he was finally completed, he gave that medicine to Grandma causing some rather unexpected result. She began to grow taller and taller until she poked through the rooftop hundreds of feet above. George was more excited with the concoction he created. He fed it to the farm animals, causing them to sprout up and greatly increase in size. When George's parents returned, they were amazed by, by what they saw. Gilly decided to make this medicine for farmers, which would make them rich. George could not remember everything he added. So when they tried to cook up a new bag, unfortunately, the second batch did not turn out well as the first one. Tested it on a chicken. All it did was to grow the legs of the chicken. The third batch, ten, third batch turned out only to grow the the neck of the chicken. The fourth batch had an opposite effect, causing the chicken to shrink. While George was holding the medicine in a cup, suddenly Grandma came and snatched some medicine from George's hand and drank it, thinking that it was tea. Then she began to shrink and shrink until she was vanished completely. George's father was delighted. They all lived happily ever after. Thank you.